another season in the books. Short one this year. I, I honestly don't think anybody else is going to see a radio that works as well as what I got and runs as efficient as I got. I mean, people can, they boast all the time, I got big pill boxes and I could throw out four or five hundred watt dead keys and, you know, want to be the big top dog all the time. That's fine if that's what you're, you want to do. To me, the radio never meant that. What it meant to me is the minimum amount of power it takes to do the, do the communication shooting skip or whatever. But what I stride on doing is... Because I, I don't have money to buy big linears and big antennas and stuff. You know, I'm, I'm working on trying to save up some money so I can get me a, a tower and a, and a beam. But, I mean, that stuff costs a lot of money and I ain't got it. So, what I chose to do instead was uh, do the best with what I had. Because I was for certain that my equipment was pretty much the best that you could get. I thought. You know, so uh, for the money that I had invested in all this, I, I decided to, uh, you know, do a new antenna, uh, uh, 5 8 ground plane, aluminum ground plane, change my coax, brand new uh, times wave, made sure my, my impendence was the same as radio. To whatever you know it, it was the same ever at every point at each jumper was 50 ohm or 52 ohm so what I did is took what I had something that was already existing that was good and made it more efficient trying to get every last stinking watt out of what I got and I think a lot of that is why I beat some of these guys that have beams and have stuff. I mean, granted, I have a good, good uh, transmitting location, you know, but and I'm sure that 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 in itself is is a hard feat. But uh, that's what I did, you know. And to be honest, you you. It's hard to duplicate what I do. You know, it took me four years to figure it out. So, and I've been doing this for six, so. But. Thousand watt scale. All the meters work, all the lights work, all the uh, meter frequency counter, all that stuff, it all works. Even the clock. You go auto. But there you guys go, man. That's my little uh, little lesson in transmitter efficiency, VSWR. So, here you go. Thank you, everybody, for viewing. I'm in Michigan. If we get any skip, I'm sure it's going to be southern Mexico and maybe Texas and Florida. We get some of that uh, short ground wave skip, but. I think I think our skip cycle ran a little bit longer than it was supposed to and now it's falling back out we'll have to wait and see what the season brings I mean it's still uh, spring so come October November and December of this year we should start to get California back and if we don't then that's what's happening is that our uh, solar sunspots and and different things is 
is down so the skip cycle is down so it won't come back up until like 2020 so we got about four or five years to go with no skip so hopefully I'll be still out here the next go around thanks for viewing